Hey, what's up, guys? This is Black Aries giving you a Star Wars Battlefront gameplay commentary. We're going to be doing a little bit of Hero Hunt, and if you don't know, we're already starting the game super fresh. I like that. You don't know what that is. Basically, it's an eight man team, and one person gets chosen out. Why are y'all calling me while I'm trying to make a video? I'm trying to, I'm trying to, yo! I get it. I'm a hot commodity, but come on now. Anyway, uh, hold on a second. I'll be all discombobulated and all that junk. What was I saying? Uh, hero hunt, right. Eight man team. One person gets selected randomly to be the hero, and it goes on and on and on. Seven people have to kill that hero, and <laughs> it's, it's difficult. I'll be honest with you. It's difficult. Basically, the person who actually kills him gets the last winning explosion, shot, whatever that is, gets to be the next hero, and on and on and on. I'm pretty sure I explained this, but... I guess I have it. There you go. Alright, moving on. I'm obviously going ham with Han Solo, my boy. Drug smuggling. No, wait, not, not drug smuggling. Just smuggler. We don't like to put, you know, drugs into the mix. I understand that, Han. Keep it professional. I like that. Anyway, guys, I want to talk to you about, um... Oh, okay. Uh, y'all are kind of angry over here. Move it away. Alright. But, uh, oh, jeez. Okay. Anyway, anyway. I want to talk to you guys about the good old days. So, for me... I'm not that old, so the good old days are not that far away, but, you know, far enough to actually uh, remember some things. And I want to talk about my life. My life was, um, no, oh, I'm going to get into too, too deep. But, ah, oh, I ran out of, this, is, this was annoying. <laughs> I was so worried about this. I was like, I don't want to die. Uh, uh, okay, okay, okay. We go over here. Got to sit down. Take out these batteries. Crap, 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 <laughs> Like, the, <laughs> it's terrible. But anyway, um, yeah, so... For me, I'm not talking about, like, just, just with my peers. I'm not talking about, you know, other stuff. But, uh, never really the most popular guy. Never really the most, um, well-known person. Never, I swear to you, my friends now think I was super popular, but they, they really just don't know. I, I had no friends, right? I remember, um, a lot of different scenarios where I kind of tried to get more popular, tried to ask some friends, tried to do certain things to get myself out there, and, um didn't really work out. There was one time when I was, I think I was a sophomore or freshman or something like that, and, uh, gosh, <laughs> I, I didn't, well, of course, wasn't with really, the cool crowd, wasn't really with any of these guys, but what I did try to do, I tried to ha have my thing. I think I saw one episode of something, I forget what it was, where, like, this guy was like, yeah, I used to not be cool until I had this thing, until I had a thing. You know, whether it be like, you're the shoes guy, you're the dude that walks into every day with Jordans, I don't remember about Jordans. I'm not a typical black person. I'm sorry. I know I failed y'all, but hey, uh, you know, George, you're just really cool all the time, or you're on the sports team. I was on the sports team too, but I'm small compared to the rest of them, so I didn't start. Okay, that's sad. I'm sad now. Moving on. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, what, what else? What else could there be? You're the skater guys. You're all the weed guys. Y'all the. You know the nerds. Honestly, you part part of the nerds too. I, I, I was a nerd in my own. I know I was. I was definitely a nerd, but you know, I wasn't like I didn't act like a nerd, so I couldn't fit in with them. But I mean, I tried a bunch of different things. I promise, I really did, and I never really got to got to fit in. So I was trying, trying to look for my thing. I remember one time I was in my brother's car, I believe, and um, me and him. We, we grew up doing everything together. I mean, we're seven years apart, like I said before in the uh, previous video, but we did everything. So I remember he was playing uh, in his, uh, his car a CD that we used to listen to when we were younger. It was a 50 Cent song, and... Uh, yeah, 50 Cent, that's just that just makes me laugh. But, um, and one of the lyrics were, um, Death gotta be easy, because life is hard to leave you mentally and physically and emotionally scarred. So something along those lines. Something like along... I, I mixed two words up, but... Basically, this is what it is, right? So I remember listening to that, that song. I'm like, man, I remember this when we were younger. He's like, yeah, I remember listening to this, whatever. And then, so I got home. I went on Facebook. I actually wasn't allowed to have a Facebook because, you know, only the bad kids had Facebooks. You know, only only the really bad kids who were, like, really into worldly things had had, had Facebooks coming from my parents. <clears throat> uh, this is, see, this is this is why I was a nerd. Like, this is why I was lame. But whatever, whatever. So I wasn't allowed to have Facebook. So I had to sneak this or whatever. And uh, I wrote on my on my status or whatever. You know how people will do those real cool kids have like status updates where it's just like you know lyrics, right? Yeah, I could be that guy or whatever. I wasn't really honest. I wasn't really thinking about it at the time. I put it up there, and I, I didn't have I didn't have a phone that actually did uh did uh Facebook or anything like that either because I'm I'm like way behind <laughs> behind everything. So I didn't look at my Facebook till like. So, like, I guess that night, I, I did it when we got home, and it was, like, a Saturday, so I got home around, hang out with my brother around, like, four, 
and I checked it out at like nine. I was like, oh snap, my Facebook was blowing up. But blowing up for me is like like twenty comments. Twenty comments, like five likes, not five likes, but more than that. I had some people flowing. I had some, you know, had the community going, buzzing, you know what I'm saying? Everybody was looking at me. I was like, they're like, dude, really love that, really love the lyric. That's awesome, man. That's cool. Where'd you get that from? Oh, that's so cool. I didn't know you I mean I mean, I'm, I'm not actually I'm not exaggerating. I'm actually I'm not exaggerating. I was about to about to exaggerate, but you know, I stopped myself. See, I'm a good person. But anyway, hey man, that's, that's great, dude. Where'd you get the where'd you get it from? That sounds really cool. I want to know what that's from, man. You're so deep. I didn't know you were like this, yeah, whatever. So I'm, I'm like, I'm sitting there like, cool, yo, this could be my thing, you know, this could be me, you know. I, I'm so excited. And I was like, yeah, it's from 50 Cent song, you know, one of his old school works, you know, somewhere in the back, whatever. Yeah, I know what much of y'all don't really know know about it, but you know, hey, I'm in the loop. I remember this or whatever. So, and I got like, I got like four females. I meant to just kill it with that thing, but whatever. I got like four females, you know, in my comment section like, yo, I didn't even know you were like that. Oh my goodness. I'm like, hey, yo, girl. That's how, I mean, I said, hey, you don't know a lot about me. You know what I'm saying? I can do many things. I am versatile. You know what I'm saying? I am versatile. I can do many things. I am, oh my God, run. Oh my God, run, 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 survive, run, please, please, no, please, da. Luke. Why, Luke? I love you. I love you. Okay, moving on. Uh, I'm like, yeah, no, no, I got it. So, my next thing was my, my, my next lyric. I was trying to come up with it, right? I went to school the next day. Well, not the next day. On, on Monday. I still, I didn't, you know, go on my Facebook, my secret Facebook adventure on Sunday. What's going cool on Monday? And everybody was still buzzing about it. Like, I mean, like, when I say still buzzing, I mean, like, to me, buzzing is like they mentioned it once. And it was like, oh, yeah, I remember that. So, like, I remember, I, like, it was like, hey, you're the dude that came with the lyric thing on, on Facebook, right? Two people overheard me. Oh, yeah, that was Jonathan. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. And I'm sitting here like, oh, my God. Yeah, I'm sitting here freaking out, <laughs> having a good old time. And so I'm like, oh, my God, they love me, you know? <laughs> and I'm sitting there. I'm like, oh, well, you know, it's just me. You know, that's just what I do. I'm just in, I'm so in tune with the musical aspects of the world. You know, that's just, that's just, that's just things I'm just into. You know, I'm like, okay, cool. We can go post another one. I'm like, tonight, son, tonight. It is happening, right? Get home. I am stumped, right? I have no idea what to put up there. I don't know what's going to go on. So I'm sitting there. I'm like, just kind of doing the whole, like, you know, evil uh, contemplation thing with your hands, like, in that triangle thing, just, like, doing a little... <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Just like thinking in front of my computer. Just like, okay, well, not my computer. Family computer. I don't even have a computer. Because, you know, lame kid. Anyway, so I'm sitting there like, okay, all right. Bam. Got it. It's going to happen. I got it. I'm about to do it, right? I post. I'm not going to tell you what it is yet. I posted the lyric, right? And the feedback was absolutely terrible. I mean terrible. I had less friends after that. I posted that lyric than I did beforehand. That's how bad it was. I mean, look at Han. Look at Han doing nothing. <laughs> oh my gosh, it was absolute garbage. My friend count dropped by like 30, and I only had five. Like, <laughs> that's what really happened. It was absolutely terrible. And neither, actually, I'm, I'm gonna say this, I'm gonna say this. It was a Kanye lyric, so <laughs> I should give you some sort of idea of, uh, of how bad this was, right? So it was, uh, I don't know if you guys remember the song, uh, Forever, right? It was like Drake, Kanye, Lil Wayne, Eminem. That song blew up, right? I love that song, right? Really cool. And I remember a lyric that Kanye West had in that song. And it was, um, <laughs> oh my God, I hate myself. It was, uh, rape the, I raped the game young, you could call it statutory, right? Tell me how I thought that was a good idea. Like, tell me how I really thought this was going to work out for me and people are going to love me. Because of this, right? Oh, a little side note. I do want to talk about the video a little bit. Princess Leia actually is one of my best heroes. Like, I'm actually really, really good with her. I don't know what this was. I, I got scared and I just ran. But she's actually one of my best characters. And it's really weird because I suck with Luke. Like, if you're going to see me use Luke later on in this video. I am trippity trash with Luke. <laughs> like, I survived the longest with her. She's, she's all these, um... She's not not be, like, the best you know, character overall. But, I mean, I'm actually... She has all these little, like intricate things like the shield that comes up i can give myself health you know stuff like that and that um the thing all the way to the left the troopers bane the um lb thing it one shot storm troopers you know what i'm saying so it's like it's really really cool stuff you know but but anyway back to my story so i yeah i don't know how in the world i thought this was a good idea i don't know why in the world i thought this was cool and i 
first of all, here, here's the cool part. I got more comments on this <laughs> on this uh, lyric on the status than I did on the before one. So I was actually still kind of popular in a way. <clears throat> but anyway. Uh, <laughs> so I get comments like, Jonathan, how could you? That's stupid. Oh my God, why would you even say that? You know, I, I, I just, that's disgusting or whatever. And then, then, like, another girl came up to me, and this is, she's actually one of the friends that came up to me, but I, I, she posted another comment, and she was like, Jonathan, you know my backstory, you know my history or whatever, she's actually one of my good friends, but, well, good, slightly, uh, anyway, like, you know my history, you know my backstory, why would you, why would you even say that? And I'm sitting here like, what's she talking about? And I remember, like, this is actually not funny, this is actually not funny, I'm not trying to make a joke. She actually, stuff happened to her that, along those lines, when she was a kid. Like, I'm actually being serious. I mean, she was like 12 or something like that. And I'm sitting here, and she thought I was making that joke directly at her. And I was like, no. Like, no. And, and she goes on her status talking about, I guess this is the time when you figure out where your friends, who your friends really are. I'm like, no. This is not what I wanted. This, no. Like, I just, and like, it just all came flooding back to me. Because she told me this about, like, I mean, like, like, six months ago, she told me about her own situation and stuff like that. And it just never occurred to me because I was so worried about me. I worried about, about me getting into my thing, you know, getting into, um, what's my call? Finding my thing. Me trying to fit in. Me trying to, like, <laughs> you know, try to find my way. I did not even consider that. And that just, oh, my gosh. The backlash from that, bruh. Bruh, bruh. It was, it was absolutely terrible. I remember going to school that next, next day. The next, next, next day. Because the, the next day, I, I kind of went to all my classes. I didn't go to see anybody. I mean, I hit out. The, the, the next, next day, I was like, okay, maybe people forgot. You know what I'm saying? Maybe, maybe, whatever, right? So what happened was the girl that commented that, she actually stayed home the next day of what I, what I was saying. She actually stayed home because she was crying the whole day. And she got people to come to the school. Not she got people to come to school. But her mom came to the school and was like, I'm not going to single anybody out. I'm not going to whatever. But I just want to come to your attention that there's things going on on social media that you really need to address. My student, like, she's like, my daughter is feeling terrible right now. Whatever. Because of some really inconsiderate people. The reason I know exactly what she said is because I was in the room. I was in the room. Because I was, um, I was going to, we had a sub the next, next day, right? We had a sub. So I was in the room getting uh, giving the attendance, right? And I knew it was her because I've met her before. She came to the school and the girl was like, oh, hey, this is my friend, Jonathan. And I was like, hello, madam. It is me, Jonathan. And she was like, hi, Jonathan. It is you. I'm like, yes, it is me, right? So she said hi to me while I was in there. I, I, I don't know if she, I, I have a feeling she knew it was me because she kind of looked at me and like, mm, hey, Jonathan. And I'm like, uh, hey, <laughs> But she came to the school, talked to the principal, so we had a huge, like, meeting in one of my homerooms, like, all the homerooms about social media, about how to talk to people, about how not to be a cyber bully. I, bruh, people came up to me calling me a cyber bully. I'm sitting here like, no, I was just trying to be cool. I was just trying to have friends. I'm sorry. Oh, my gosh. It was, <laughs> oh, man. The good old days, man. The good old days. These, these are the times when I'm just like, maybe I shouldn't have friends. I have, I have a decent amount of friends now, but... It was rough. It was rough. I mean, it came from uh, came from Florida. Came first, he came to Georgia, and I was already a nerd in Florida. You know, I was already being nerdy and stuff over there, and then coming over to Georgia, just trying to make whole new friends and a whole new environment, all this different stuff. And nah, I mean, I'm like I said, like I said before, I'm really sociable now. Dude took a rocket to the face and just still dropped me. Well, I said rockets don't take down here. So there you go. Ah, man. Well, there you go, guys. That's that's a story I had for you. I had want to, I wanted to talk about it. Wanted to share it. Uh, I don't have anything else in this commentary. That's just that's all I had. Oh my goodness, I'm just I'm cringing at myself right now. But um, <laughs> oh my god. All right, I will let the lesson, I'm gonna let the rest of this thing go. It's about a about a minute, about a whatever. You want to see the ending of it? Um, I actually do win this game. I end up winning this game. I actually end up doing really well. Uh, Princess Leia is the one that actually saved me. It, was, it wasn't Luke. It was, okay, being Han at front definitely, definitely helped me out. I mean, I, I'm grateful for being Han Solo. That little punk. Anyway, uh, <laughs> but yeah, no, Princess Ellie, not her, of all people, the female. The female's the one that helped me out the most. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Females are actually are good for something. Please don't kill me, ladies. I'm sorry. Please love me still. I like you guys. Don't curb me. All right. 
See, make, make another mistake. Anyway, I'll right, see you guys. I'm out.